Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you guys what I expect of you for the next two weeks from four, uh, from April 20th to uh, May 1st. Um, so before I do all that though, I just wanted to show you um, just the Google Meets for this week. So starting on Tuesday, the Google Meets are going to um, are going to start happening. Uh, again, for period one, it's going to be nine to ten. For period two, it's going to be um, 10.30 to 11.30, and then uh, and that's going to be on Tuesday. And let me see if I have the copy of that. Yeah, so period, uh, and, then, and then it's going to rinse and repeat the following day on Wednesday, rinse and repeat the following day on Thursday, and then rinse and repeat uh, the following day on Friday. So Monday, you guys are working, you guys are catching up, all that good stuff. Okay. So I want to show you something very important um, in regards to what I expect of you guys. So around 8.50 ish, somewhere around there, I'm going to log on to my computer and I'm going to basically open up this link. If you don't see the link right away, don't freak out. Okay. Um, so, so the link is going to be right here. Now, originally I put in my calendar to send you guys an invite to the Google meet. Um, and just ignore that. This is what we want right here. So this is going to appear sometimes. This is not going to show up sometimes. So if I'm exiting a class for period two, uh, this is going to go away. Okay. So, and then it's going to change for the following time. For, for the following uh, meet time that we meet again uh, for the following week. Keep in mind that meets are 400 points each. So um, for those of you that want to boost your grade, um, it's a good opportunity for you guys to boost your grade. So let me show you guys what I expect of you guys um, for the next two weeks. Um, all right. So students, if possible, please complete the work offered in your teacher's Google Classroom. Your teacher will be able to, to assess your work more quickly this way and offer you feedback. Um, do not complete the paper packet for me. Uh, it was to my brought to my understanding that uh, brought to my attention that um, that all students should have been given some sort of electronic device with a hotspot for Wi-Fi. That was per admin. That is what the school admin told me. And so I'm basically going off of what they say. So the first thing that you see is a daily reading thing. You could read anything. Actually, I want to say anything. Just make sure it, it's it's appropriate and and uh, academic and and talks about um, some of the things are there. Uh, some of the things that have happened in the past or. Um, you know, maybe it's about something that you have a hobby in or, or something like this. Just read something. Give me the URL in here. Now here, you have to do this every day, by the way. If you don't do it every day of this week and next week, you will not get the points for it. Every single assignment in here is worth 200 points. Okay. Now, if you look right here for this specific story that, my, that I selected, the leap, this is only one page long, actually two pages long, okay? It's not even that long. So the article that you read is not, doesn't even have to be that long. And it also gives you the option or listen to or watch a video clip, a television series, movie, and follow the format below. So reading completed, you'll give me the URL to the, the article that you read, okay? It's that simple. Summary, two to four sentences. You give me a two to four sentence brief summary of what the article is about. In the article, um, how to train your dog uh, is about what? Okay, give me two to four sentences about that. A significant quote, where I quote that you think was meaningful and explain a quote kind of like the, uh, the Osco from the, the Osco. So you have to do this every day though. So what I would do, is I would do 420, 20, and then, you know, and make sure you do it over here too. That way I could see your reading log. 
Now you need to do all the activities on these two pages. Okay. So shoot, this is not a cop my copy. So I need to, yeah, I'm going to make a copy for everybody. So don't worry about that. Um, but this is shared with my other colleagues. So, okay. So anyway, um, vocab practice for 420. This is a little bit easier. Some of you might like this. Uh, it's a little, it's a bit easier than vocab.com. I like vocab.com. It's easier, but um, basically you give me the word definition in this box right here. Give me uh, an example sentence using the word. So like abolish, I abolished the sentence uh, that Mr. Anderson told me was incorrect. Okay. And then you highlight abolish in the sentence. And then synonyms. You have to do this for all five words, not just the one. Okay. And then give me words that are synonymous. So you basically copy and paste this four more times uh, down below. So you just hit enter if I can. Yeah. Why is it not letting me do this? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So right here, you would just hit, you would just basically, you know, highlight it and then you would hit. Uh, control CTRLC and then CTRLV down here, and then you would copy and paste it a total of five times or four times, I mean, because you already have the one copy here. So it's pretty, very easy, very doable. Um, you'll get that done in a jiffy, no problem. Uh, Tuesday, writing practice, write a paragraph on your own sheet of paper, following topic, pretty easy. Uh, dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Colin Powell. Okay. Do you agree or disagree with this quote? Use examples from life, TV, or literature to prove your main idea. So you may have lived this experience before um, where somebody took more effort than you realized and you had to put in the work in order to make uh, the dream work so to speak. So uh, this is how you would format your paragraph, okay? And then you would just hit enter and then you would do it down below, okay? So um, again, I would do it myself, I would you know, reformat myself to show you guys real quick in the video, but I can't because this is a shared document with other teachers. So basically, again, you just take what's what the topic sentence, right down here, topic, topic sentence, colon. You know, let me do that real quick. Just to show you guys. Topic sentence, colon. Uh, the main. So you would you would write you write yourself. So um, so I believe that that Colin Powell is correct when he states. And I quote him, it takes sweat, determination, and hard work when it comes to talking about making dreams a possibility because then you get into it and then, and then period. Don't, don't have it too run on E. Okay. Um, but that's how I would do it. If I were you guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. All right. So Wednesday, uh, literary device practice, um, on your own sheet of paper, write a short descriptive paragraph about your favorite place. Be sure that this is, it could, it could be anywhere. It could be the mountains. It could be the beach. It could be, um, you know, uh, La Bufadora and down in um, Ensenada. Uh, it could be anywhere. All right. So be sure that this is descriptive paragraph includes at least three similes using like or as. Okay. Uh, please underline similes in the paragraph. All right. So a paragraph must constitute at least five to six sentences. All right. So that's pretty self explanatory right there. Moving on to Thursday. I don't like soapstone. You don't do soapstone at the collegiate level. Um, but my colleagues basically convinced me to do soapstone and I don't like it. Uh, instead, this whole year we've been doing Osgos. And I think that's a heck of a lot better than soapstone. 
that's just me. You know, some people are different. But uh, let's see here. Find a speech or song. The speech can be delivered by a character in a movie, a presidential debate, or online. Then complete the following soapstone analysis on your own paper. So soapstone, okay? That's why they call it soapstone, right? S is for speaker. O is for occasion. Bah, bah, bah. All right. So who is the speaker? You tell me who the who's the speaker is and what their characteristics are. Uh, occasion, what has happened to make the speech occur. Audience, who's the speaker addressing. Purpose, what's the speaker's overall goal. And so on and so forth. You can read through it. All right. Friday. I'm almost done, actually, even though this is like two weeks. So I'm, and I'm only on the first week, so I'm almost done. So here we go. Friday, uh, grammar, parallel structure. We did this before we uh, before the uh, school cancellation. So um, you can review this on RCC8 of your HMH textbook. Um, so on your own sheet of paper or on this document right below this, okay? Yeah, so you just hit enter twice. So if you see how I did that, I hit enter once. Gave me a six, I hit enter again, move the thing over, so then I can actually uh, answer or provide the correct, um, provide the correct uh, sentence for the parallel structure to make the parallel structure work. All right, so my colleagues are gonna get mad at me, so I better go back, all right. Um, continue to read for 10 minutes daily, so this includes, uh, this week as well so if you are missing a day so say wednesday you're just like to heck with it i'm not gonna read then you don't get the points you don't get 200 points for the week all right um so please make sure you're staying on top of the reading for the frayer model uh please make sure you copy the the frayer model up above down below we had to put this on two pages in the event that some teachers couldn't um some teachers wanted you guys to do this on paper. I do it on Google Classroom. So just copy and paste the Freer diagram up above for Monday and copy it down here for this Monday as well. Okay, make sure it's blank. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, um, writing, write a paragraph on your own sheet of paper or on this, so just hit enter and just type it down below. Uh, be sure to follow the paragraph format under Tuesday on 421. Write a paragraph on the following topic, no man. So you basically respond to the same topic using your own experience or something you've read or something you watched, something, okay? Make sure you give credit where credit is due. So, so if somebody, like I like watching Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan podcast, the Joe Rogan experience. So like, you know, a lot of the stuff I, I you know, he says I think is an intellectual. So I would cite Joe Rogan. Okay, so because he's the one who, or Rogan, because he's the one who said it. All right, so give credit where credit is due when you when you're doing this uh, for Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, write figurative language on your own sheet of paper or just down below. Again, write a short story in first person from the perspective of a bug stuck on the windshield. Make sure you use at least three uh, examples of personification in your story. Giving human or living traits to a non-human or living thing. I was embraced. So, so you're basically, again, yeah, you're giving human traits to non-living objects. All right. Then Tuesday and then Thursday and Friday. This is worth 400 points right here because it, com it combines the two days together. So uh, objective directions. Find a speech. The speech can be one, uh, one delivered by a character in a movie, a presidential debate, or online. After listening to or reading the speech, complete the following soapstone analysis on your own sheet of paper in complete sentences. Okay, C423 for format. Again, you'll just basically just hit enter and type it down below. Okay, I would do that on this copy, but um, this is for the district and the school and, and I'm, I shouldn't even be on this copy. I should have made, made my own copy, but it's all good. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys your own copy eventually. Um, don't worry too much about it. But again, if you want to log on to the digital classroom for office hours, where is it? It is right, it's gonna be right here. If it doesn't show up and you're like on there at 8 30 a.m. and I said, Yeah, we're meeting period one at 9 a.m. 
don't freak out because it's going to show up there eventually. Okay? So don't be like, oh, Mr. Anderson's not going to show up. No, I'll, I'll be on there. I'll probably be on there probably about 850-ish. Okay? And in addition, for the first 15 minutes, so say it's 915, nobody shows up from period one. Everybody's like, this is for the birds. I am not doing this. Then I, I gotta, I got, I have other stuff I have to do. I, I have to, um, I have to teach my kids. I have to homeschool my kids. I have to take care of my kids. My wife is working online, and I'm doing the YouTube lectures. You know, late in the evening, like it's like nine. What is it? Nine thirty right now. Nine thirty p.m. right now. So I'm a night owl. So I do my stuff at night most of the time, and so my YouTube lectures, and so. And my wife works during the day, and so I have to keep the kids, you know, away from her. That way, she can focus on grading uh, stuff online and 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 grading uh, SAT score, SATs, and all this. Okay, so again, if it's nine fifteen and nobody's on, I'm out of there. Okay, so just so we're clear about that, again, for period two, for the second period of the day, if it's ten forty five because your class starts at ten thirty. I'm out of there. I'm assuming I'm under the assumption that nobody's going to show up. Okay. So again, it is 400 points and it's only once a week. So, um, um, do you have to be there the entire hour? It all depends on the group. So if, if nobody has any questions for me about how to do the assignment, cause, cause the thing is, is I want, if people have questions, it might be a question that you might have later on down the road. Okay. Also, keep in mind, I, I was grading some of the assignments, and uh, one of the questions asked, like, what were your thoughts about this particular text? Um, and somebody said, I didn't have any thoughts. That's a zero because you did not apply yourself to thinking about the text and you were just thinking about like, I, I don't know what else. So, so that's a zero. You need to, you need to apply yourself to the assignment and you need to take every single question every single day seriously, because if you don't, then, um, then, then you get a zero for the whole week. Okay. So it's $200. I'm sorry, $200. Huh. It's 200 points for each assignment for every day. And then the reading right here, this is time sensitive. So I want the reading done by Friday. Okay, by 5 p.m. Friday. Actually, I'm sorry, not 5 p.m. Probably about 9 p.m. Friday, because that's when I'm that's when I'm on. So 9 p.m. Friday, I want the reading done. And I want to see all of those reading logs completed and fill, copied and filled out and all that good stuff. All right. Um, and that's for this week. This is time sensitive. Okay. So I do not want you to do this at the end of the semester and be like, oh, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, I did say that in my last video, but for the readings, you need to be reading daily. I read daily. Okay. I read about the stock market daily. Okay. So you guys need to be reading daily. Um, take it seriously. Do what you're supposed to, and remember my rules uh, about the about the about the uh, about the Google Meets. Um, you have one violation, and and I, I just ban you from from the Google Meets for the rest of the year, and that's 400 points that you lose out on. So um, don't don't get me to that point because I can't. It's not like I could send you to the office and be like, oh yeah, get out of my classroom. Okay, take it seriously. Go watch the other video if you haven't about what my expectations are about Google Meets. All right. Anyway, I will uh, see you on Tuesday and uh, take care, everybody.